and welcome back to the Sardine News. 7th of June, the first week of June Sardine Report. As you can see, the aloes are blooming, but that cuts off low gave them a bit of a haircut, don't you think? Anyway, they got their colors, but they're not quite the red hot poker things we need for the Sardines to really pitch up. And anyhow, for the non-superstitious, um, there have been plenty of sardines. It's been a great season so far. And the inclement conditions are actually actually working in our favor. That northeast wind is going to drop the temperature of the water right down to unbearable human levels. Well, not tell human levels, that is. But basically, um, the east wind also is teaming up with the north-south current and is taking that dirty water away. Um, but as anybody from the south coast or this area knows that after the fl after a flood, especially a kind of low flood like this, the fishing is really good. And I'm pretty sure the sardines are going to come right in. Um, and here is a roundup of what's been happening that this whole week. And uh, <clears throat> catch up tomorrow or the next week. Shot. Enjoy the picture show. Zululand at the moment. Strong winds. Yes, check the trees bending. <laughs> yes. Oh, boys. That was going to be safe today. How's it, guys? That for those of you that want to know where the sardines are, Ifrocom Corner, we've got a large show. The back line. Conditions are not conducive for netting or fishing. But we we'll keep you updated of where the fish is sitting at the moment of Ifrikom, Umkubaba and that area. And as you can see the birds are working the fish down there. Gentlemen, the sardines are washing out Margate Beach. Have a good day at work. <laughs> yeah, it is. The guys, it is washing out, but it's not a lot, but it's washing out. Margate Main Beach by Wumpy. Good morning guys, um, yeah, Q here from Coffee Bay. Um, yeah, after that heavy flooding that we had, I'll tell you what, I'm up here at Dennis's place at Raptors View. Looking at the ocean, the, the dark blue line, that blue blue water is about 400, 300 meters out now. Um, yeah, it's actually changed like almost overnight. Or at least we've got a light westerly blow, so it's blowing on Todd and Mouth River and everything towards yeah, Landili, Presley's Bay. So yeah, it's looking good. Yeah, you got sunshine. I mean, you got good weather coming your way. All right. And there's not a bird. Ah, there's a whale. I thought you saw that. And that's Sharks Bay and Formula down there. Got one sardine boat here at Sharks Bay. But they're not throwing any nets yet. They're still looking. And the waves are me. Dolphins coming in hard. And that's Kamula in the distance. All the netters are waiting and waiting and waiting. Same as me, same as us. Same as these guys. Same as this guy. Morning guys. Team V's Moonlight. With the assistance of Jock. Uh, yeah, we got the fish here at Winkle. Winkle, uh, net is coming in now. The fish looks like it's in the net. We've got to see what happens in the shore break. But yeah, that's a sorry. At Winkle, fish being netted now. And we're back at Port Shepson to round off another interesting day on the south coast. Another beastly easterly. And a couple of birds diving off the back here. Off the sand spits. But at least the brown water is getting washed away. Washed away by that strong heat and that current. Tomorrow will be a whole new ballgame. Alright, thanks for playing. Ciao.